Hallo, guten Tag und willkommen bei Fifth North. Ich bin Demir und heute wir sprechen über die Hauptland Fotografenjacke. And that's about as far as my German goes. Uh, my apologies to anybody who's actually a German speaker if that was terribly pronounced or just terribly said overall. Um, but yes, today I do want to talk about the Haukland 5-in-1 photography jacket. And matter of fact, it is a jacket for the great outdoors. So instead of talking about it here in the studio, let's get outside and jump right in. First of all, if you're brand new to the channel, thank you for stopping by and checking it out. And if you're a returning viewer, I definitely appreciate you coming back. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, hit the like button as well, because it does tell me which videos you guys like more, so I know which videos to make more of. Uh, with that being said though, let's talk about today's topic, which is the Haukland 5-in-1 Photographer's Jacket. If you guys remember last year about this time, I made a video where I did a full-on review on the jacket and I talked about how I got it into the States. It is a product that's only sold in Europe currently. Um, so if you want to know the details on that, go ahead and click on this link right here and it'll show you that video. If you don't already know, I'm actually living up here in the PNW, uh, the Pacific Northwest, more specifically the Seattle area, and we get quite a bit of rain and quite a bit of cold, cold conditions as well. For example, today it's about 30 degrees out Fahrenheit, and I'm only having to wear two of the Hauklin layers. I've got the, uh, the sweater layer, as I call it, and then I've got the outer shell. There's also one other middle layer that I normally wear if it's anything colder than this. Um, so it really gives you a nice range of what temperatures you can be comfortable in. You know, anywhere from like a slightly chilly fall day where you just wear the inner layer all the way up to snow and freezing conditions. And I think honestly, if you had a good pair of gloves and a beanie along with the three layers, you can be comfortable in just about any condition. So really nice to have that versatility and has really served me well out here in the PNW where the weather changes quite a bit. A couple other features about the jacket that I really have enjoyed. The first one I'm going to mention is really a love-hate thing for me. And I, I kind of say that jokingly because I love it because it's extremely useful and has become so handy to me that I've started to hate that my other clothes don't have that feature. What I'm talking about is the fact that I have a microfiber cloth right here actually in my sleeve. So in my sleeve, microfiber cloth comes out, very convenient for cleaning my lens or any of my gear on the go. And it's kind of become frustrating when I'm wearing something other than one of these three layers and not having it in my sleeve, right? If I'm wearing a regular hoodie or something else, I'm just like, ah, where's my microfiber cloth at? So I definitely can't wait for, uh, for Halkland to be sold in the States because I know they carry other products such as hoodies that have that in the sleeve. So Ben and team, if you're watching, let's get to the States ASAP because I can't wait to try out more gear from you guys. Um, another feature that I find fantastic is the fact that the zipper opens from both the top and the bottom. Very convenient when you're in a crouching position because the jacket can be a little bit tight towards the bottom to keep you warm. You can unzip that piece, let you actually bend down more comfortably and not have it be in the way. Um, and lastly, I'm going to mention, this is one of the biggest pieces. There's so many pockets and so many places to store things. Um, you've got your regular pockets on the outside, but then you've also got full on pockets on the inside. Let me step back and show you. So on the inside of the jacket, um, there's actually a full on photography backpack, if you will. Um, you've got a spot for SD cards. You've got a spot for batteries. You've got a mesh pocket, a waterproof pocket, and every single layer has that option. So we're talking about all three layers of the jacket have that built in. The great convenience in that is sometimes I don't want to carry my photo backpack. I don't want to carry extra gear. I just want to have my camera in my hand and I can toss in my actual jacket pocket batteries, ND filters, cables, anything else I might need. It fits perfectly. Makes me on the go a lot easier. makes me a lot lighter and a lot more portable, if you will. Just run out and shoot instead of waiting for the backpack to be loaded up, carry the full backpack, all that good stuff, right? So very convenient. And it was definitely designed by a photographer with photography needs in mind. So if you are in Europe or any other place that this is actually sold, I do highly recommend it. And I do say go check it out. Once you have it, I think you'll love it. And you'll be surprised by how much you find yourself using it versus a regular jacket. Um, if you're in the States like me, well, we're kind of cooked for right now. We have to wait until they're actually available here. Maybe if enough of us, uh, you know, give Halkland a hard enough time, they'll they'll get, get here faster. I do know they're working on it, so I'm just teasing, but... Uh, once they do get here, I'll be pretty excited to get, you know, more jackets, hoodies, and other stuff like that. Um, but with that being said, though, if you want to see more details on the actual pockets and all that, again, go ahead and look at that first video. It will give you more details on that. The biggest thing for me when buying camera equipment or photography equipment, and yes, I would dub this jacket as photography equipment because I bought it specifically for that use, is that I want to make sure that it lasts and that it's high quality. So as I mentioned before, I only have the one five-in-one jacket because I did have to import it. And so this jacket has been pretty much used extensively anytime I've gone out to shoot in any sort of off weather, whether it's raining, uh, hailing, cold, windy, whatever the case might be. So it's gotten a lot of use. And what I've noticed has been really great is that there's been really no signs of wear and tear on the jacket. So none of the layers are showing any sort of, you know, 
fraying uh, strings or threads. There's been no ripping, no tearing. I mean, it looks pretty much the way that it looked the day that I purchased it. So that's a really good thing to know that when you do make an investment uh, in something like this, that it's gonna last you a really long time. And quite frankly, based off of how it's been going, I'm fairly confident I can use this jacket for at least another three to four, maybe five years without any issue. So definitely good to know that, um, especially in my case when you're importing it from a different country. Another thing I love about this jacket is the extreme attention to detail. So small little things like, for example, on the sleeve, you've got adjusters to choose how tight or loose you want your sleeves to be. And there's actually a spandex layer that tucks into your gloves or actually tucks your gloves into really well to keep cold air out and obviously moisture out as well. Outside of that, there's two different layers with hoods and the hoods actually have adjusters so you can make the hood tighter or looser as you see fit. So a lot of great details went into the jacket and I found them very useful when I'm out and about shooting. So again, if you haven't checked it out already, I do highly recommend it. This is not a sponsored video, uh, by the way. It's just me showing you guys a tool that I think is gonna make your life easier as a photographer in the cold. I hope you guys found that video useful. Uh, if you did, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you haven't already, once again, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way it does tell you when the next video is coming out. I should have taken my own advice and actually put a beanie on because my body is super warm with this jacket on but I feel like my face is starting to get frozen. I'm slurring my words. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up and get back inside. It is getting quite chilly. Um, I hope you guys all have a great night and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.